Hey guys, welcome back to ADZ TV. Thank you for stopping by for another podcast, and I'm back with another podcast. And today is a very interesting podcast. It's about uh, the hat trick hero of the East Bengal derby, Kian Nasiri. So today I have three people. Okay, not one or two, but three people. I have Jeet, I have Avi, and I have Som. All three of these people have been in my podcast before, and they are come today. You know, a, me- a mega combo. Uh, today we are going to talk uh, about uh, Kian Nasiri, about his uh, career, and what can we expect from him. Okay, and some interesting story facts that many of you all may not know. So, uh, first of all, uh, welcome Jeet, welcome Avi, and welcome Som to the podcast. Thank you, bro. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Yeah. So uh, we will uh, ask uh, y'all all the questions about uh, you know Nasiri, and uh, let's see how it goes on. So uh, the first, of course, the big question: How was uh, Nasiri's performance yesterday? Jit, what would you like to say about his performance? His performance was amazing yesterday. It's like he first time he he gets very less chances in the. A squad and when he came on, he just started with a banger. Well, ATK Mohan Bagan were one nil down, and suddenly came and scored a hat trick. I will say like he just needed a chance to show his worth, and he did that. He's continuing on the legacy of his father. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so Avi, what would you like to say about his performance yesterday? Uh, as Jeet told uh, told only, I would like to agree with Jeet. Kian is a great striker, a great number uh, striker and a player. He's a great player. He will be one of the great Indians' future to be on uh, to be precise. So I think he has played exceptionally well for a starter or a, for a first or only a debut. Not a debutant. He made his second appearance in ISL. But to be at uh, one nil down and to score a hat trick and give a team out uh, your team a win, you need guts, man. He has done exceptionally well. Okay, so so as a neutral fan, how was your what was your reaction to uh, Nasiri's hat trick yesterday? He was absolutely brilliant. I mean, he's got technicality, he's got pace, he's got everything. His finishing was amazing, and I agree to Jeet as well as Avi here. As Avi said that uh, that was not his debut. Many people don't know that uh, he was not making his debut yesterday, but he had already made his debut against Kerala Blasters. So yeah, uh, still uh, he, uh, as we said, he has got to make a uh, hat trick to score hat trick in in just few games, in starting few games. So according to me, as a neutral fan, he was amazing, and let's hope that he carries Indian football forward. Yes, that's very nice. So as uh, Som just said, many of y'all know him just because of yesterday's, you know, the Kolkata derby uh, hat trick. But uh, Avi here has some very good information about him. Okay, some things that maybe you may not know. So Avi, would you like to uh, you know tell us something about uh, Kian Nasiri that uh, maybe our viewers don't know about? So Kian Nasiri, or we all his full name, Kian Nasiri Giri, was born in our Kolkata, West Bengal. He studied in Saint James uh, School. He uh, participated in one of the local tournaments. I Jeet will know it's called Cavendish Cup. Uh, in that tournament, he has almost scored several goals. One of the top scorers. He was also uh, participated under 14 Bengal uh, camp of football, where he scored six goals in five matches. Thereby, he went to participate in under 17 Mohammedan for the year of 2017 and 18. Where he was all one of the best players for the Mohammedan team. Then there there is a tournament in Bengal, you know, that is called Z Bangla uh, tournament, where the they scout the best talents of Bengal, uh, the best footballers in Bengal to give them chance. So, Kian wanted to participate in it, so he went for it. He joined Mohan Bagan's under 19 team to play for the tournament, and he was very exceptionally well there. I don't know the stats. How how well he played, but I I heard that he played very well in that tournament, and thereby he got called up in the 2019-20 season of Mohan Bagan senior team by former Mohan Bagan uh, coach and KBFC coach Kibu uh, Kibu Vikuna. I think he uh, he made a uh, uh, what they call him. He made a debut 
for Mohan Bagan when it was not uh, ATK MB, it was MB only, Mohan Bagan Athletic Cup. I think in, in the March of 2020, uh, he made his debut for Mohan Bagan Athletic, uh, Athletic Club. And then I think after the merger happened, he was in the he was in the team only, but I think Havas did not call him up uh, as of so for the 2020-21 season. Uh, he, uh, to be honest, home told that he debuted in ISL in Kerala Blasters, but for uh, Mohan ATKM, he debuted his first match in the FC Nassau game. To be honest, if you see the um, substitution bench, he came in at 88 minutes in the FC Nassau versus ATKMB game. So that would be his official debut if uh, if and. Uh, to be honest, he has a pretty good career so far as a uh, football as a football player and as a uh, player of a as a legend of, of his father also. I think he will go superb, and that's all my stats. That's all of my stats. Okay. Yeah. So uh, you were speaking about his father, and uh, many uh, people uh, know this. Okay, his father was an SC East Bengal legend, and uh, you know he scored many goals. Uh, so tell us little about his father too. So, see, Jamshed Nasiri is a Iranian person, or, or to be precise, he's a former Iran, Iranian player. He used to play for an Iranian club. Uh, I can't pronounce the name. If you go to Wikipedia, you can search it. But I have not so thorough to pronounce that name. So, that club, he used to play for that club. But that club was, uh, you know, due to funding issues, got uh, debanded and he. Uh, Mr. Nasiri uh, landed up in Aligarh University of India to continue his further studies. However, he he was with, uh, he participated in that uh, inter college football competition and got scouted up by uh, scouted by East Bengal, and he started his journey as a East, Be- East Bengal player. Then he got scouted out by Mohammedan, played for Mohammedan. Then again East Bengal. So in his career, he mostly played for East Bengal and Mohammedan. Scoring about. He was one of the first, uh, you know, first uh, international players to score uh, uh, 100 goals in our in the Indian football, uh, you know, in the Indian football or in I League most probably. He was valued to be. He uh, he was one of the biggest signings of that time when he joined. I think uh, uh, Mohammedan in the uh, late in the uh, late 90s or in the 1986 for a value of 2 50,000. That is a huge amount. Considering this 1980s, almost he joined. So he is a great player. He's one of the legend. People know him everywhere. I think Jeet can. Jeet also know him. Jeet also has also supports most. What do you think of him, Jeet? The great Mr. Nasiri. Yes, the great Mr. Nasiri was a legend in East Bengal. But even though his career ended in East Bengal and Mohammedan, he went on to coach Mohammedan. And uh, as I've heard, he used to coach in a. Bombay football club, I can't don't know the full name, and they won the Rovers Cup with them. And now his son born, and he's he's uh, little by little he's also nurturing, and he's also very much becoming a big name in Indian football right now. Uh, so I also wish Kiana best of luck for the future, for everything. Yeah, okay, so that's a very great. I think most people have got a clear cut story now about, uh, you know, Nasiri uh, for those who are watching. So, uh, we'll talk about some questions because we know when you become famous suddenly, especially scoring a hat trick in a Kolkata derby, of, of course, makes you very famous. So, but of course, there are many people then, you know, who then go in the other side of the spectrum. Many people appreciate uh, the good performance, but then there are many people. Who are saying that uh, he's over getting overhyped? Uh, the goals were not that good. They are saying he was just got lucky that the ball came next to him and that the goalkeeper was out of position. So he just like you know, uh, blind shots hit and it went in the net. So what do you feel? Uh, are these comments true? No, I don't think so. I mean, yeah, every people have different mindset and different uh, views. But according to me, uh, as a neutral fan, he was amazing. I mean, yeah, his finishing is good. Let's not say that the goalkeeper were in different position, unnatural position, or, or he was lucky. Because many people can't even score that kind of goals. All right. So, yeah, his finishing is good. As Although I've seen some of his clips of earlier, uh, he was good. He's good enough. 
and let's not overhype him guys i mean yeah that, that's enough that's enough that uh, we're following everything putting stories on insta and etc etc et let's hope wait for future and let's hope that he carries indian football ahead and we're talking about next sunil chetri i guess this guy can be the next sunil chetri uh avi what would you say is he his uh, was his performance uh, that day you know just lucky or was he actually playing well i think you know luck matters much of a time but he is a good player he has played he's followed his father's footsteps he is very he is a good player he's not too good player he's a great player but i think uh, we should not overhype him so much he has just played only a uh, few matches in the isl let's wait let's hope that he gets as much as playing chances under huan i think he will get playing chances under huan he is huan is an absolute great manager he gives chances to several of young players like devendra many of came under his, under his academy uh, fc goa academy at that time so i think uh, uh huan will prepare the kid in a way he uh, will and his father will also guide him so i think we can we will expect to see a uh, great of a banger in the future but as of now we should not overhype him so much let him do his job in his own way jeet how how would you weight uh, his goals uh, yesterday okay how do you feel his goals were well yes his goals were very amazing i will not say he's overhyped or anything but i will just say he's just getting started like juan fernando the coach he understands his players very well so giving him a chance when they were one nil down and then seeing the results that has actually paid off i will say like he's getting started like it will be like liston colasso when he was in hyderabad he wasn't get, he was just getting started and now he has like uh, like in the middle and everything so i will also say that uh, kian nasri has just getting started and will have a great future ahead he can be like one of the best footballers like youngest footballers and in the coming years he can have a great fame and name yeah so now we'll talk about his future because of course without talking about a player's future uh, doesn't make sense so uh, of course now like many players uh, he's uh, now well known of course scoring a hat trick in the kolkata derby so uh, what uh, what do you all feel he should do should he uh, you know fight uh, stay in uh, kolkata i mean for atk mohan bagan fight for the uh, starting 11 spot or should he you know maybe it's start fighting for the starting 11 spot will be difficult at the moment and should he go to another club maybe on loan so that he gets game time which is also important to gain experience or should he uh, more or less uh, leave the club completely i had asked this question uh, in my community post and uh, a huge amount of you all said that uh, he should uh, stay at atk mohan bagan so what do you all feel uh, som what do you feel should he stay leave he should stay in atk mohan bagan as for now uh, and i guess if he plays like this he he might get a chance from foreign club and that will be better for him in my opinion but let's hope let's see what happens in the future let's just hope that he stays and who uh, one is training him more better he's uh, unlocking his potential to some extent to some higher extent level so yeah jeet uh, what do you feel he's 21 years of age should he uh, stay I means not same saying that he should leave atk mohan bagan but uh, should he uh, you know con- uh, consider remaining and fight for the starting 11 spot or should he go on loan maybe somewhere well yes i would also say like he, i would uh, he should stay at atk mohan bagan may perhaps uh, after this also he will get more time and game play and also he can get in the starting 11 but for also for uh, he is getting popular and also he is his game is getting better i may think he might get uh, offers from other clubs but ultimately i would say for now he must stay and if he wants to he can go in the near future but for now he should stay here and play for well okay avi so uh, what do you feel uh, should uh, you know kian consider a new club or should he just remain uh, at atk mohan bagan because of course he is now kind he has a lot of hype around him and i believe that other clubs are also very interested in him should he like you know consider uh, get him going to another club for experience maybe on loan and then return to atk or fight for his spot in atk you see i think uh, juan fernando is one of those one of the best managers who 
supports youth i think uh, kr would not find any other coach who supports youth more than uh, one farando so it, i think it will be not of any use for kian to go to any other club but i think he should stay at atkmb because when one is giving you chance to play the derby when atkmb is one nil down so it means that the coach has so much faith in you and i think he should he has he has also repaid the faith i think he should stay he should fight and i think he'll in a in i think in a few matches time he will be uh, coming as a starter he will be starting in the uh, first 11 and he will be in no time that he will cement his position in atkmb yeah uh thank you once again avi jeet and som for such amazing information and for being a part of today's podcast thank you so much thank you bro thank, thank you, bro. you bro yeah so thank you uh, thank you all also for people who are watching our podcast thank you so much for watching the podcast uh, hope you all enjoyed it if you all want to be a part of my podcast team do contact me on twitter or instagram links are in the description below also tell me what do you all feel about uh, you know on the cv what do you feel do you feel that he should uh, stay at atk moon bagan or not tell me in the comments down below uh, thank you once again for watching this video do like share subscribe see all the more videos coming soon of course in the near future goodbye take care stay safe